I am an artist who draws every day. And for the past 10 years, I have filled 50 sketchbooks, recording my daily experience and the my thought process. I am somebody who can make art anywhere. And I have carried these uh, small sketchbooks with me um, into the wilderness and it, everywhere I go. Uh, I love being in community with other artists and feel like I use the drawings as a way of reflecting back and documenting my experiences. I make art for now and I think about what's going on in my own world and then also what's happening outside myself. I take the mark making that I've developed in my journals and I make them into paintings. And currently I'm working with acrylic on fabric in a extemporaneous way, channeling ideas around climate change and our um, changing world. I love to teach and have worked at Creative Growth and also uh, currently at Solano College where I use a Fluxus inspired pedagogy where basically I'm extremely optimistic and I try to just let people be human and make the work that they need to make in community. I'm a member of a radical family where we have walked from Mexico to Washington on the Pacific Trail for six months living outside. This is just one of our adventures, but it was a, a profound um, experience for us um, doing it during uh, one of the most intense periods of the California drought. I hiked from um, Yosemite to Mammoth this summer on the John Muir Trail in order to look at the Lyle Glacier and think about water. I came back into the studio and when I come back with my sketchbooks, I make installations and paintings. And I made this thinking about water traveling both above and below the surface. And while most of my work is purely abstract, it does stem from the, the marks that I make and the kind of personal um, experiences I'm having out in the world. I have a lot to contribute to a community. I can help other people think about their work and I can also you know actively like go inward and think about what's going on um, in my own practice. I worked at Two Palms Press in Manhattan and I learned this technique that actually came from Picasso where you you paint a negative image and then you just wash it in uh, ink or, or paint. And that's that's how I made this painting. And I feel like it does kind of reflect this inner, this inner place of both folding and a kind of external um, movement, uh, something outside. Um, I also worked from my imagination and this came from sleeping outside under a full moon on this last hike that I took. I think that nine weeks at Skowhegan would be amazing for me. I could really use the community and I feel like I have a lot to contribute. I strongly hope you consider my application and I look forward to